let's first continue this one. Libra is silver. And Sailor Moon. Luckily, I know most of Sailor Moon colors from mind. Uh, big brush. I need to look for a better silver. There we go. All that blue them. Well, for now, I mean. Let's grab the white. Are a couple of narrow paths that I will do with my thinner brush. Oh, wait. How about I do it immediately instead of stashing it away already? I missed a spot with the yellow, but it's fine. I can fix that easily. Now I can remove the white. Come to think of it, Sailor Moon does look a bit like the French flag or the Dutch flag, considering the colors. I believe her choker is red as well, yes, because there is a golden moon on it later on anyway <laughs> I 
and I just did first form Sailor Moon because, well, the other ones are very detailed. Maybe I'll do that later. I mean, I can't even do the stripes on her uh, collar. But I believe the artist of Sailor Moon uh, had some connection with France. There are quite a lot of French words in all the songs. There's this entire city called La Soldier. And uh, Sailor Moon in Paris. So... Go all the red parts. And which skin tone shall I pick? sand on my tray despite not having you sand on this tray Got to do a color. Well, that will be done later on there. I'm taking a bit of a risk by filling all the other parts before dry. The other ones are dry. I do need to rush a bit. Oh. Okay, now I can to the moon. Let's see. If I can. Had this one cup extra. If I can fill this cup with the remaining of this, because this is just a very big jar for a little bit of paint. Might still be too much, but at least we'd be minimizing it. And then I can clean this jar and reuse it. can even use this to create a new skin tone. This little spoon has no wire inside, so it's all wiggly wobbly.
still prefer my Nutella jars uh, for this because they close better. These little containers close decently as well. Okay, so the spoon part is not really useful anymore. So first, we're gonna scrape off as much paint as possible. Then we're gonna grab a tissue and clean it. And then we scrape it all. I can't wait for those little Nutella jars. Okay, I don't think I can get more out of this with the scraper. So, cleaning off the sides over here because that's where the lid's going to be. But what about all the rest? There's still so much left. Yeah, I know. But there's this. I think it's this color anyway. I think it's a bit orangey. But otherwise we're just going to. Yeah, that should be this color. If I recall well. That's a blob. No blobs in my art. You can go soak in here. So no, I'm still not going to clean this jar right away. Because there's, there's plenty of paint still in there. So next time I'm going to scrape it even more with a brush. So don't worry. Ooh, 10 empty already. Can you imagine the variety of skin tones I can create with that? One I'm using uh, right now is the one I call Asian Inspired. Because there's a hint of ochre in there. So you could consider it slightly yellowish. It's a flower, that's decoration, so... Yeah, 
I don't need to mix other colors that often. Or at least I try not to. Because I have only so little mixing jars. To check for messages. Okie still going fine. Yeah, I don't really have a lot of big tubes. Do have a few, mostly white. But I most of the time have just little tubes because I get those. 20 in one packets. I'll call these all the same color. And since I don't really need that much paint, I usually have enough with those little tubes. But there are a couple of brands I'm never going to get anymore. Most of the time, they're from the brand Senos. I really do not like that brand. It should be dry enough for the eyes right now. Really like these two. Um, I had mixed for that and I needed the, it's not this one. No, this is the normal purple one. I need the shiny purple one. Just need to make those eyelashes a bit thinner. And ironically, this tiny foam brush is to put on eyeliner, so looks a lot better this way. Now it's drying, so I only have Kai over here. Still needs more skin tone in the face and in the hand. And I do know you have to see these characters from a distance. That's what you get for hand painted stuff. If you want absolute perfection, you need factory work. Or someone who's very dedicated. And I'm neither.
Okay. Um, let's see. This vest is going to be ochre. I think I'm going to give him a reddish shirt. It's a bit cliche, but I think it would fit better. But I'm going to think about it. couple of browns here so think I'm abusing this brush trust me this one is way worse completely frayed dust comes from it unfixable but I am still gonna see how I can use that little one These little jars, by the way, with paint, when they run out, I'm going to keep those as mixing jars as well. Lovely size. So. All I need to do is just use it. Ok. 
Mexico. And then the super dark brown, still a bit watery for the shoes. It dries almost black. It's one of those tubes I emptied in here. I believe officially guy's shirt was olive green. Might actually have olive green. Not sure if I should. Considering all the other warm tones. Let's see, I wanted to check while you dry. How much white was in here? Uh, it's quite full already. I had a half empty white tube. Uh, where did you go? And I wanted to see if I could put it in here, but I don't think everything's just gonna fit in here. Just uh, gunk. First, get rid of the gunk. There we go. I don't think I'm going to stir it just yet. I am going to put some water in here to thin it out. By bit, by bit. By the way, I already lost my craft knife. So I got a new one, it's probably somewhere in here. Or not. Uh, let's see, I need my pipette. Spinning it out a bit, hopefully, or I'm going to put it in something else. Where's my, yeah, uh, I don't think I need to put it in my uh, blend for, what's it called again? Gesso, my gesso blend. But maybe I need some white for mixing soon and then I can use that. Okay, first I'm going to toss these. And then I'm going to do some unboxing because I wanted to do that and we have half an hour left. Might have just put my craft knife somewhere over here that's also a possibility but yeah that's here's my craft knife okay but first we're going to do some unboxing because i got a few blind bags a bit expensive this time the magic mixies mixlings and i just really like those little jars and i think i can use them in the future Okay, so we have, oh yeah, it's the Neon Magic. I need the scissors. These scissors have been with me as for as long as I can remember. I think uh, I got this as a very young child and it still works. Oh. And can we get rid of this? I'm following the remove this part, but there we go. D 
didn't read anything about it, so. Did check, by the way, uh, numbers on the bottom. There was, were different numbers, so hopefully that works. This is just, okay. This is the stuff where you have to toss in some water and then it starts bubbling. And I really hate that, so I'm not going to do that. think you can you need big tweezers oh or just pull just pull okay read me first toss in the powder toss in the water and you get the disgusting goo so not gonna do that I know it's not how uh, it's supposed to be, but I just, that, that, that goo is disgusting. This is, by the way, two, so. Oh, this is one. Yeah. So I'm just gonna ruin it by cutting it open. With a little pipette wand. Yellow this time. So if I had been paying attention, I could have checked it from the bottom. So this is a charmling. That responds to... Hot and cold water? Let's see. At least it's a cute kitty. Let me get my trash. Uh, my trash bag is almost full, so I got it out of the trash can. But I can still toss a little bit in there. This I don't need anymore. This I don't need anymore. Do I have... This is a different yellow one. So hopefully my change of numbers helped. Okay, so what do we have? First of all, let's toss this gunk. And this is uh, the kitty, Lixon. And Lixon is a vanisher. So, vanishers. I guess with cold water. The pattern. See, it goes. Still have a drop in here. No. So, let's see. Warm water. Ice water. So let's check. Handy pipettes. So I'm going to keep those anyway. Hmm. Guess my water isn't uh, cold enough. They do recommend ice water. So. But that's okay. It's a cutie. Gonna keep it anyway. Just for decorations. Uh, next one. Different number. So hopefully it is a different changeling. And you might just see them across my studio. 
They were a bit expensive, I think. This is paper, so that goes in the paper trash. The readme can go already. Uh, plastic paper. Mm -hmm. Ooh, can I just remove this? Yep, I can just remove the lid and make it easier to remove. I've got a purple one, an owl, and another yellow pipet, and those pipets are the perfect size for me. Getting those things back is tricky. I have this little indent. So I think that's you. And it's back again. Okay, so where do you belong? There we go. Little jar. The number of the yellow kitty. Uh, that was this one. Because this one isn't clean yet. That was free uh, L Y. It is L Y three five five two three two three. But I'm not sure if that numbering code works. Also, it's quite orange. It's it's not really yellow. Okay. But you can see a little bit through it, so do check it. And the other one, LY3552623. I did mix up the lids, but I don't think that's much of an issue. Maybe this one. Getting those lids back on is very annoying. Hmm. Okay, the next one is an owl. And it's a charming called bunny. And with warm water, it should become more translucent. Bunny. Well, Bunny and Lixen. And by the way, let's toss this. So, I repeat once again, I do not know if the coat is a trick worth going for. But you can, you can see a little bit through it. So, this is a bit of a solid pipette, I think. So, that should be a spellgazer, I think, or a morphling. So, it's not a pipette. And... <laughs> So try to look inside as well. This has something. I can see some. It looks like a little ducky. 
So I think this is going to be Jibs. You can't see through it, so try it. Hmm. I don't really go to McDonald's anymore, so thank you for letting me know, but... I don't know anyone who goes there. Toss the trash. Paper goes with paper. Just toss it away straight away. Forgot to name the number L Y three five five two eight two three. That is if the number trick works. They have blind bags where they don't have uh, numbers listed because they noticed people were checking the numbers to get complete collections. Okay, this is a spell gazer called Hapazu. I think I know what this is. First, toss all that I don't need. I don't really need all these cups as well. It's just a little plastic thing, so I can't really use it. Paper. does have a lovely purple staff. It's quite heavy. I think I know why. Because you need to rub it over here. And then it gives a little different face. Let me get it up close. You can feel there's a magnet inside. I'm not really a fan of bears, but at least it's purple. I would have preferred the yellow one anyway. So... I have... I should write down the numbers, which, but I don't really know which one I watch anymore. Could check back on the video. But I don't think I'm going to get more. Probably a lot of fun for kids to do the fizzly bit, but I really dislike it. Last one, the number is LY three six, no three five five two one two three. Did I already have a two one two three? Two six two three. Two eight two three. Two three two three. And this is a oh twenty one two three. Yeah, I did check that I get different numbers. So if this is an encounter, and it is Jibs, if I'm seeing it correctly from the outside, then it should be an enchanter. They do remind me of the littlest pet shop. By design. And they were about 5 euros a piece. So they are quite expensive. But I really like those little jars. Now I have... Azak. A morphling. I'm 
gonna keep the fizzly stuff for whatever reason in the future. Don't know just yet. So it is a bit tricky to see from the side which one you're gonna get. But you can use it a little bit. I think I need, you need to go here. To control which ones you would have. And I think I'm going to like the Morphlings the least. It's yellow Rabbit. And you already see it extends its neck. Also magnet based. So if you seriously do it, you, you guys put on the magnet wrong. It's supposed to raise the head, but you really need to hold it. Otherwise you'll just push it over. So. The head bumps up. Still cute. But least of my favorites. Okay, so tossing all this in here. So if I do decide to get other ones, I'm going to check the numbers. Or that they're at least not the same numbers as the ones I already have. Is this the same magnet stuff? Yep. You need to bash its head in to make the eyes move. Okay. So, apparently, you have spell gazers changing eyes. Vanishers. No, I don't. Uh, that's this. That should have uh, patterns disappearing with cold water. Charmlings. Body should get translucent with hot water. Then enchanters, I don't have. And there's something with the eyes changing. I think uh, it's also magnet based. I think it's another uh, twirly twirl. Morphlings, push up the head. Weakest one of all. This one can go. And castlings. What do castlings do? They open up arms. Also magnet based. So my least favorite of the bunch is Azak. Then followed by Hapazu. And then Lixen. And I think Bonnie is my favorite. Because purple and blue. Still gonna uh, keep him. Do like Lauren. Because that's a kitty. A black kitty or dark kitty. But not sure if I'm gonna get, gonna get the other ones as well. Okay, and then we need. Can you go? Ah, sorry, Abazu, you're going in a different jar. You will be reunited one day, do not worry. There we go. And the final one, can I put you in here? Can I even once more? Eh, there we go. 
Not the most fancy one, but I don't care for it anyway. There's probably some list online that has it anyway. Should have put the instructions somewhere as well. Let's have puzzle then. There we go. Now we're almost the second hour in. So is something dry already? Or dry enough? Let's see if I have some fine glitter I can use. And then I'm going to quit and clean up over here. I need some fine glitter. It's a bit too much. And I also need it to be translucent. That's not glitter. It's quite coarse glitter. I just need... Wait, 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 wait. What's this one? No. That's silver. Uh, I don't think I have anything else. So, unless I... This is a bit yellow. I don't want yellow. I guess I'm going to spray it first and then use my... My paint, my glitter paint for it. That only has glitters. Yeah, I don't have any nail polish in the right color at the moment. Close it. There we go. So I'm gonna do a second coating here. Okay, well, this needs to dry before I can do the rest of the eye. This should be dry. Yep, this is dry. Where's the gold? Where's the gold? Here's the gold.
from the priority ones right now are Gemini and Sienna because of Mermaid. Or actually because of May. And now that I get yellow, remember how I forgot to do a little piece over here. to do the size of this one but that's fine that's the quick drying paint anyway still recommend this paint from the kick oh someone's for calling me one moment Okay, there's absolutely no drama, so don't worry, but uh, I am getting something delivered and I need to be there. So I do apologize for the sudden ending, uh, but I'll be seeing you next week, I guess. So bye bye.